Hi, my name's Ruth and I'm the Outdoor Learning Officer at the Water of Leith Conservation Trust here in Edinburgh. Our job is to look after the Water of Leith, which is the river that starts southwest of the city and comes right down through the city and the mouth of the river where it goes into the Firth of Forth is at the Port of Leith. Our job is to look after the river and also to let people know about how wonderful the river is. Today I'm going to show you how you can do some river dipping to look for river invertebrates. Now river invertebrates, creatures without a backbone, are really important for many reasons. One is they are a really important part of the food chain, they're a food source for fish and birds. Also they have an amazing life cycle and also they are the first indicators of pollution when the river is made dirty by humans. So you don't need much equipment to do it. You need to make sure the river is nice and low, that you find an area of the river that has a stony bank that's safe for you to go into. And if you're under 16 or so, you need to take an adult with you. The equipment you need is very basic. This is a, um, a, a, a kick net um, used by a professional biologists, but actually you don't need that. All you need is a little kitchen sieve like this and some kind of white bowl or tray to put the invertebrates on. Come with me and I'll show you how to do it. This stony riverbed makes a great habitat for freshwater invertebrates to live. Don't go deeper than your ankles. You can find lots of invertebrates in the slower moving water under stones where they don't get washed away by the fast currents. Always face your net upstream so the water flows into it. Turn over the stones and push your net under them. When you've found something, put it in a white tray or bowl to get a better look. To do this, turn over the net and gently push your netting into the water. The invertebrate will swim away into the tray. It only takes a few minutes to catch quite a wide variety, even in this urban waterway. So here already, I can see we've got these really big caddisfly nymph shells that may or may not be occupied by the nymphs that actually create these shells um, and live in them. What we've also got that I'm really pleased to see are quite a few stone flies, which are these guys, they've got two prongs to their tail and they crawl along the bottom, sort of wiggling along. Here we have a couple of different species of mayfly nymphs. Um, we're always really pleased to see them because mayfly nymphs are indicators of clean water because they need cold, um, highly oxygenated water in which to survive. So they can't really thrive in a polluted river. So to see a few different species in an urban waterway is really good news. After you've finished looking at your invertebrates, put them back where you found them in their river home. Give the tray a really good sugar to make sure that nothing gets left behind. So get out and enjoy your local river, wherever you are. We're right in the centre of Edinburgh, but there is wildlife on our doorstep. Just this spot back in January, I watched a mother otter teach three of her cubs how to swim. Enjoy river dipping, keep yourself safe, don't go in the river when the river's high, always take an adult with you, but make the most of the river and the wild space around you and see the fantastic life that exists just below the surface of the water.